Hello everyone, this is Gail from Gail's Upstairs Studio. Today's project is painting a mailbox. I've done a lot of these over the years for friends and family, for gifts. They make an excellent housewarming gift. They make a really good bridal gift. I've had them myself and it's time for a new one for myself. So I thought we would paint on this today. I obviously won't be putting my address or my name on on this mailbox but I I will be doing that off camera but I just wanted to show you the process of painting on it I have already wiped it down with rubbing alcohol to get any oils um, from shipping off of it um, I will be using folk art enamels today on this and what I like about folk art enamels is you don't have to seal it afterwards necessarily if you don't want to. Back in the days before this kind of thing existed you'd have to use regular acrylic and then spray seal it and then re-spray seal it especially if you live in a winter climate like every year. So this um, will cure after 30 days so I'm doing it now and I won't be putting it out for 30 days and then um, as the sun hits it, it will bake it on more, and you might want to spray seal it at some point anyway, but for right now, we don't have to. So, let's get into this.
there. There's one side done. I'm very happy with that. I love the way hydrangeas look on black. The colors pop. As you can probably tell, um, I learned years and years ago when I first started painting. Well, the reason why I thought I could do it actually is through um, the Donna Dewberry one stroke way. And when I do things like this, I rely heavily on double loading the brush and the shading and highlighting in one step because when you're dealing with a slick surface, it's harder to go back over it and layer. And so that is something I usually do when I'm working on um, glass or, or metal. I kind of harken back to when I started with one stroke and I double load and shade and highlight all in one thing. Now we'll do the other side. box completed. I'll turn it around and show you the other side. There. I think that will do nicely. I have done my last mailbox that I made for myself was a Lupin one and it's been out there for Oh, more than 10 years it is a little worse for the wear and as a matter of fact the door is starting to rust off of it so it was time to do a new mailbox. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. <laughs>